Welcome back, Lunk fam. If you guys could, just for a second, pretend that you're Mike Tyson and or Chris Brown and beat up that thumbs up button. Maybe even give it a share. Would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, uh, we are looking at Lunk on the weekly time frame, at least as of right now. And what you guys can see right here is our white box. Our white box ranges between about four zeros, 86.70 on the low end. High end is at four zeros, 87.89. So the importance of necessarily if we can get our weekly closure above the high end of that box, that would look quite good because that also would mean that we'd be cracking through this 382 right here, which is at four zeros, 85.94. Uh, from that point on, I wouldn't say that we're necessarily out of the woods yet, at least until we can get a weekly closure slash open end closure above the 618 over here at four zeros, 92, um, 12. Or uh, 92.14 is exactly where the 618 is. But that's weekly time frame, which at that point on, I do think that we would be then looking to break above the yellow dotted line, like we talked about at 4096.53. And I do think we should then uh, be able to move back on up. Uh, if we do end up getting sent back down into our green box of, I don't know, greenness which ranges between 407941 high end low end is at 7592 uh, i don't think that will necessarily hold and i do think we should be from that point on looking for our fib levels that uh go down lower and we'll be essentially back testing our lower trend line at that point i think it'd be a fire sale and uh, that we get a massive pump from there on out so that's weekly time frame daily time frame let's see if we notice anything else uh, daily time frame, at least in this short term, you are making higher lows. Uh, I wouldn't say that you're necessarily making higher highs. You made this one slightly higher high in comparison. To there's one candle right here. Outside of that, wouldn't say that at all. Um, and the BWP, which measures volume and volatility, is pivoting back on up from the lows, essentially. And delta volume is positive, which is what we want to see. The only other thing that we're not necessarily seeing right now is that the actual volume itself isn't necessarily picking up. Uh, it is relatively the same, I would say, for the most part. Um, nothing super crazy. And, well, if we invert this, can we notice anything else? This kind of looks like a V-shaped recovery. However, not necessarily guaranteed. We see a triangle right there. Only other thing that I necessarily would want to see is... Volume here. Yeah, so volume is definitely diminishing. So we could theoretically do something along the lines of that. And then I guess you could say you're roughly making a uh, ascending triangle right here, or a uh, rising wedge, I mean. Which, since the chart is inverted, that would be more of a falling wedge, and that would be a bit more of your bullish case. So, if you were to come back down, you'd be looking to essentially just make a higher low and not break this 78-73 point. Uh, if you were to end up doing that, then I would say that this would be more valid, and you do end up getting a move up, which, if you were to get a measured move for that, that would comprise of getting us all the way up to our yellow line, which is at... Uh, four zeros ninety six fifty three. Just to point that out. So, oh, there we are. And then, doing that, that would also break us out of the several month long wedge. Could come back down, back test maybe the six one eight or the five zero on the smaller fib right here, and then from that point on, we should theoretically get that massive like move up or start to get the massive move up. But um. Going into, I guess, the four hour now, once again. Four hour looks fine. We had this ascending triangle too, actually, which it does look like we are breaking out of it, which should be moving us up to 88.73. If anything, you could get stopped right around 87.21, where you can see just on the right side of the screen, you have higher volume right there. Um, which should be sending us on our way. So that's all good stuff. So outside of that, I am leaning more bullish right now for Lunk. So don't forget to give this shit a share. Outside of that, I know this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.